the rise of the super cloud. Here's where the super cloud comes into play. We're building something that obstructs the, the underlying cloud. It's about working across boundaries. Super cloud. 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 I think it represents two main things. One, an opportunity to uh, unleash the power of every cloud at a sustainable cost. And two, it represents a career path for the next 10 years. I really think what we're talking about here is the original concept of cloud computing. The ability to run anything anywhere without having to care about the physical infrastructure. And what we have today is not that. Having cloud, multi-tenancy cloud or the super cloud model, where we could abstract our services, our, our, our protection, uh, the different levels of security tooling, being able to abstract and speak a common language where you could run it in Azure, GCP, or AWS, and still have a common language that you can interpret and leverage between all the tooling would be something I would love to see. We're trying to unleash the whole world of software development, you know, on Snowflake, right? That, that is, that is, you know, I think Dave Vellante from, uh, from the Cube, you know, whether you, you read his stuff or not, he, he referred to us as a super cloud, but it's much bigger than a data cloud. But what I think every organization is going to do is they're going to say, there are certain things that make sense for us to run on one cloud, certain things that make sense for us to run on another cloud, but fundamentally what we need is a network with a set of principles and guarantees, regardless of where something is running. If you don't call it Edge, what do you call it? I like super cloud. Like, let's just go with that. You know, this super cloud that's written up here, it's about working across boundaries of technologies. So you have to build with openness in mind. Here's where the super cloud comes into play. It actually abstracts the cloud layer. If this is what customers are demanding, these platforms could actually be built to be interoperable. And fundamentally where we are today is customers are transitioning to a cloud smart strategy. And this really becomes part of a super cloud strategy ultimately. Delivering local cloud services, supporting infrastructure as a service, and also application development on premises as well. So it becomes a very important component of a super cloud strategy going forward. Uh, imagine if you had to speak three different languages with three different people, you'd get lost in translation. If we could speak a common language across all the different platforms and all the different footprints, it would be easier to uh, define our security posture. Maybe another way of looking at it is, is hybrid cloud no longer a term we should use and we should fully embrace super cloud. We are very aligned to your vision for super cloud. This super cloud dynamic is happening. I would learn a little about everything, learn a little about the various cloud providers, and I would focus on building complex distributed systems and architecting those systems. I would learn about how all these things kind of, kind of run together. Don't learn a particular technology because that technology will ultimately go away. It'll be displaced by something else. Learn holistically what the technology is able to do and become the orchestrator of that technology. Once you create that common denominator, that's really that's, that's the secret sauce for what, what you're talking about as, as a super cloud. But the key to this, it's not just technology. It is these relationships and what is possible between our organizations. That's super cloud.